Hello and welcome to the channel. Be sure to share, like, and comment down below. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button for daily videos on news and politics. Breaking FBI Deputy Director Andrew McCabe quits. Top FBI official Andrew McCabe has been removed from his post as Deputy Director, Fox News is told, leaving the Bureau after months of conflict of interest complaints from Republicans including President Trump. A source confirmed to Fox News that McCabe is taking terminal leave, effectively taking vacation until he reaches his planned retirement in a matter of weeks. As such, he will not be reporting to work at the FBI anymore. The move was first reported by NBC News. McCabe has long been a controversial figure at the Bureau. Republicans have questioned McCabe's ties to the Democratic Party, considering his wife ran as a Democrat for a Virginia state seat in 2015 and got financial help from a group tied to the Clinton family, ally, uh, uh, ally Terry McAuliffe. Now, Trump himself tweeted in December, How can FBI De Deputy Director Andrew McCabe, the man in charge, along with Leakin James Comey of the phony Hillary Clinton investigation, including her 33,000 illegally deleted emails, be given $700,000 $700, for wife's campaign by Clinton puppets during an investigation. White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders said during Monday's press briefing that Trump stands by his previous criticism of McCabe, but was not involved in the, the, in the departure. The president wasn't part of the decision-making process, Sanders said on Monday. Democrats defended, defended McCabe after news of his retirement broke. FBI Deputy Director Andrew McCabe is and has been a dedicated public servant who has served his country well, tweeted former Attorney General Eric Holder, who worked in the Obama administration and has become a frequent Trump critic. Adding Holder said bogus attacks on the FBI and DOJ to distract attention from a legitimate criminal inquiry does long-term unnecessary damage to these foundations of our government. McCabe's exit follows recent news of other charges to in top FBI roles as Trump has uh, taken aim at other senior FBI officials who worked under the former director, James Comey. FBI Director Christopher Wray said last week that his Chief of Staff James Rebecca had was leaving the Bureau as well. Uh, the Department of Justice officials also told Fox News that Dana uh, Bonte, the U.S. Attorney in the Eastern District of Virginia, who is also the acting head of the DOJ's National Security Division, has been selected to step in as the FBI's next General Counsel. James Baker, who had served as General Counsel, was reassigned late last year. McCabe's name has surfaced in connection with several other controversies. Um, the Daily Beast reported that a GOP memo alleging a government uh, surveillance abuse named McCabe, along with Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein and ex-FBI boss James Comey. Incidentally, the McCabe removal comes after Ray viewed the memo Sunday on Capitol Hill, as reported by Fox News' Katherine Herridge. Um, the removal also comes ahead of a DOJ Inspector General report regarding the handling of the Hillary Clinton email probe. Several Republicans also want to know what McCabe knew about the anti-Trump text messages between two of Bureau officials, including one that seemed to reference an insurance policy against Trump winning the 2016 election. I want to believe the path he threw out for consideration in Andy's office that there's no way he gets elected, but I'm afraid we can't take that risk. Peter Strzok texted on August 15th of 2016, it's like an insurance policy in the unlikely event you die before you're 40. Now, some lawmakers think Andy was a reference to McCabe. Now, late last year, Trump drew attention to news stories about McCabe's rumor agency exit. FBI Deputy Director Andrew McCabe is racing the clock to retire with full benefits, Trump tweeted. The Washington Post late last week reported, um, that Trump, during the, an Oval Office meeting last spring, pressed McCabe, who was then acting FBI director, about whom he voted for in the 2016 election. Now, McCabe, according to the outlet, told the president he didn't vote. So be sure to share, like, subscribe, and comment down below and give me your opinion on this report. But other than that, I hope you guys have a great day. Peace.